Hello everyone. Good day. Hope all are doing very well. Okay, so let's start for today. Uh, today I will be discussing on uh, one of the issues that we generally see uh, while doing any activity on the FortiGate firewall. Activity means in terms of any maintenance, any upgrade or anything. If any activity is done, generally we see this error. Uh, during the activity or during the upgrade or after the upgrade uh, or whenever there are configuration changes. So this issue is like out of sync. So when we have configured a FortiGate uh, high availability and uh, in the HA status, you will see out of sync. Generally, it's, uh, it should be synchronized. It's, the status should be synchronized for both the firewalls in the cluster. But sometimes we see out of sync. So we will be discussing like why we see this and uh, how to fix this out of sync error. So let's go. So once you see the out of sync error, the first thing is like we need to know like uh, is, is there any activity has been performed after which you started seeing this error? Was there any upgrade performed on the firewalls? So this error generally comes after upgrade on the firewalls or after some maintenance activity on, on the firewall or near the neighboring switches where the you know, some changes related to HA occur. So we need to know is this a new firewall setup or implementation or is there any software upgrade performed? Uh, does it started after any configuration changes or was there any failover trigger for the firewalls? So this issue will generally be seen after these things. So how the error will be seen? So if you go, uh, I'm sorry for this, click your title. I will be removing this here. So if you go uh, onto the HA status in the FortiGate GUI menu, uh, on your HA status, you will see the status. And this status shows synchronized and out of sync. So out of sync means that the configuration between both the firewalls is not synchronized. By default, the configuration gets auto sync automatically, auto sync, auto sync between both the firewalls. We should not see this error, uh, and it's a very rare error we see. Uh, so out of sync. Then uh, the, this can be seen in the GUI. Uh, by going into the HA and if you go to the CLI, if you run the command get sys HA status, you will be able to see out of sync. If you go uh, in the, if you run the command get sys HA status, you will be able to see uh, in sync and out of sync. So out of sync means the configuration is not synchronized. In the configuration status, you will see this. So in the GUI, you can see by going to the HA status and in the CLI, you can run command get sys HA status. Now, how to figure out, like, is there any configuration difference between them or not? Whether this is uh, some issue because of the configuration or it is something else. So uh, what in FortiGate, uh, there is a checksum calculation for all the configuration. So whenever there is a configuration change or uh, whatever configuration exists on the firewall, uh, FortiGate calculates the checksum of that. And as you know, that uh, checksum is a MD5 value, which uh, changes even if there is a small difference between the text or in the configuration or any file. This checksum can be calculated for any file. And so if there is any alteration, if there are any changes, the checksum uh, gets changed every time. So similarly, FortiGate key, uh, keeps uh, track or like uh, uh, is gets aware of the configuration changes based on the checksum as well. So what FortiGate does is FortiGate calculates the checksum and how we can know whether there is a difference between uh, the configuration on both the firewalls. So one way is of course the manual way by going into each and every option and see what is the difference in the configuration. But manual configuration, uh, tracking the manual configuration is not very easy and it's uh, from the GUI you can't browse every option. So if you go to uh, CLI and run diagsys HA checksum cluster. So the, uh, this command shows the checksum of the configuration 
for both the firewalls so i have just uh, hidden some of the my serial numbers excuse me for that but uh, just as a privacy i say i i have hidden this so if you go if, if, sorry if you run the diaxis hh checksum cluster you will be able to see the checksum calculated uh, and this is for, based on the v, vdoms if you have multiple vdoms or if you have uh, no vdoms so based on the vdoms it may show different uh, uh, checksums for each vdom depending upon the number of uh, depending upon the number of the vdoms uh, in the firewall configuration so if you see here we can see the checksum for global is this one 5f ed and blah 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 8 acf similarly for root the checksum is 53 66 blah 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 59 18 so we need to compare this checksum with the checksum of the secondary firewall or the other firewall in the cluster so if you see here cf the global should match to the global the root should match to the root and all should match to the all uh, this I have shown as an example, but whenever you have this issue out of sync, you will generally see this checksum uh, different. Uh, the, this checksum will be different in both the firewalls. So if the checksum is different between both the firewalls, means at that particular VDOM, there is a configuration difference between the firewalls. Now, now we need to figure out, let's say you figured out uh, there is a checksum difference. Now we need to figure out what exactly is the difference between the configuration. So as I told, like if one of the checksum is different, that implies the configuration issue is in that particular VDOM or in that global mode. Then we need to find out the exact difference between the configs. And there are multiple ways, but uh, one of them is like you can use some compare differentiation or compare uh, tool. You can use some file compare tool, let's say. You can use some file compare tool to figure out the difference between the config files. Take the backup from both the firewalls, compare it in a file and see what are the differences. So, and the other ways uh, you can uh, use the command wait yep where i shown oops i have not shown no problem so we anyhow we will be doing it in the lab so uh, i will show you there so uh, let's go to our devices and we'll see all this in action so let's let's say this is my device if i do a get says h a status uh, that I have already shown that it's uh, my firewall will be in sync. So if you do a diaxis H A checksum, diaxis H A checksum and show. So it shows the checksum. Okay. Same way, if you do it on the other firewall, diaxis H A checksum, show, you can see the checksum. In the firewall should match the checksum in the firewall should match or if you do only diaxis h a checksum it shows only for this particular firewall wherever you are running this command but if you want to see both of them together you can run diaxis h a checksum cluster uh, cluster so then it will show the checksum for both the firewalls diaxis h a uh, checksum cluster then it will show the checksum for both the firewalls in a same in the same command so we were talking about like global should match the global of the other serial number uh, it's it's the same because i ran the same command on both the, so if you see the checksum cluster it will be uh, shown for both the serial numbers so this should be same now we need to figure out let's say it's uh, it's it's uh, let's say this command says like the checksum is different for the root VDOM. Then we can figure out which particular object or which particular menu is different under the root. So for that, you can use diaxis H A checksum show and then the VDOM. So if you do VDOM, it calculates the checksum for each individual object item. If you see it will calculate the checksum for each individual object or each configuration menu 
same way you you need to run this command on the other firewall as well like says h check some so and the same we do so now it calculated the checksum for each individual object so as you can see on both the firewall see let's say as an example this is same all these zero zeros so basically all the checksums if you see should match so if what we can what you can do is you just log this file log the putty output and then take the output of diaxis ha check some so root from uh, both the from both the firewalls from both the firewalls and then simply do a compare diff or in the notepad plus plus you can compare and you will exactly know like which particular object is having a different checksum that can be compared but for now for me the it, it's in synchronized uh, state so i will not be having any difference in this so uh, the, the, this issue is generally caused by one of the configuration difference and mostly you will see this uh, error only when you perform some maintenance activity when let's say when you perform an upgrade so what happens during the upgrade during the upgrade uh, the firewall migrates the configuration from one version to the other and sometimes there might be some issues because of the migration or some commands are not converted or because of a new feature being added into the new software version and there might be issues during the upgrade so that also we can know by using diag uh, uh, config uh, oops uh, my bad i am what is the command yeah so that uh, you can uh, find what is the configuration uh, means what configuration is not migrated or was there any issues during the upgrade uh, for the configuration i can we can say diag debug config error log yeah diag debug config error log so if you re run this command then uh, you will see any differences or any configuration errors which were uh, seen during the upgrade let's say diag debug config error log read so if you see uh, on my i have a, like there is a command called uh, security fabric and this was failed so similarly when you are performing some upgrade after every upgrade you should observe the synchronization status if the synchronization status is not proper then you should see or even if it is synchronized you should always see diag debug config error log read to see like what configuration is migrated or was there any errors during the migration uh, because of configuration issue or because of new feature so whenever you run this command then it it will show you uh, issues related to configuration uh, migration between the upgrades so uh, what we so what uh, things we can perform to fix this are of course one is uh, uh, performing a checksum check or we can say validating checksum and the other thing can be uh, checking for any uh, configuration errors during the migration these things we should be checking then go let's so also the, let's go back to our ppt so as i've shown like we should be validating this checksum and then we should compare and sometimes there might be issues like firewall or for firewall has not uh, recalculated the checksum after any changes let's say you did some changes or there was upgrade but because of xyz issues the fortigate has not recalculated the checksum so what you can do you can just try to recalculate the checksum once so for that you can do diaxis ha checksum recalculate so if you recalculate the checksum uh, sometimes the issue may go because uh, fortigate might not have uh, recalculated the checksum so we can manually recalculate and after recalculating we can verify again diaxis ha checksum so or cluster so cluster so we can see for the cluster so after this we can see for the cluster so you should uh, try to do a recalculate of the checksum configuration validation between both the firewalls and for any upgrade errors during the uh, configuration uh, or upgrade 
so if you if you see after that once uh, you fix the configuration issue then you will be seeing that configuration is synchronized or your out of sync error will go so uh, what all things we discussed till now was uh, all related to out of sync and the possible root cause for that are configuration difference between both the fire configuration difference between both the firewalls this cap this can happen during some issues with ha or can happen during upgrade and some configuration might not have been migrated or converted uh, properly when you are doing the upgrade and can also happen due to some ssl configuration or certificate issues let's say if the certificate installed on both the firewalls are not matching or uh, you have not installed a particular certificate uh, uh, on the other uh, firewall in the cluster let's say it's only installed on one but non, not on the other so the, the these are the possible causes of out of sync and hope this will help you to troubleshoot uh, any out of sync issues uh, and if any questions if you have any doubt or any questions on this or anything related to fortigate uh, you can just uh, put your comment on the video and yeah as i was uh, telling like uh, there are some well known articles related to these uh, articles means the kb articles so fortinet publishes uh, all these uh, articles so you, you can refer some of these articles as well like this article is for configuration is partially lost after upgrade and it tells you about the command direct debug info and uh, sorry debug uh, configurer log read this tells you about that or even you can uh, use uh, uh, even you can use some other uh, non article let me show you google and if you do config sync out of error if you type you will see an article uh, possibly from fortinet so let's better go if you can go to this troubleshooting article and if you see whatever i explained it's there you can uh, like get system ha status and you need to see these uh, values and same way you can do a CSS check some cluster and calculate the you can calculate it for particular VDOM or for global and then we need to perform a recalculate so the, the or uh, and the last of course is the diag uh, debug command so debug is basically uh, uh, capturing the debugs for HA talk between both the firewalls and seeing why this particular configuration is not getting synchronized but generally you don't need to worry about this because if you fix the configuration mostly it's because of the configuration then it will be fixed so you can uh, also refer these articles if you want and that will help you to fix your out of sync issue for sure 100 percent and if still if you have issues you can just put on the comment and i will be happy to help thank you guys thank you so much hope you like this video on one of the issues so uh, j j just to inform everyone uh, i will be creating videos for troubleshooting specifically because we know uh, the general topics or general uh, uh, discussions over different technologies different menus is available uh, everywhere across even in the documentation but what is not available or what we don't have is the troubleshooting steps or the commands how to troubleshoot or the possible issues that can occur so my most of the videos uh, on this channel will be related to the troubleshooting how to troubleshoot any particular issue so i will be more focusing uh, on troubleshooting issues and you can get back to me if you have any concern or you if you have any uh, troubleshooting uh, to uh, troubleshoot at your environment or if you have issues related to your environment you can let me know if i can help i will be happy to help you on this thank you so much guys thank you bye bye if you like please subscribe to this channel and like the video thank you so much